Hello and welcome to the Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create a sum of an expression. So this is one of a very common requirement where in the front end we have an expression of which we want to take a sum and generally in that scenario sum function is not used and if you are a beginner you may be wondering like what's really going on and what do I really need to do to create a sum of an expression right. Well I'll show you in this video how you can do that. Before that, just a quick information about all these video tutorials uh, that I'm posting on YouTube is present uh, in the in this Power BI file, which is Power BI video tutorials. As you can see, the link of this file is present in the description. So the whole idea is this, that you can come over here, search any of the video tutorial that you need or any of the title that you are looking for or filter it and jump to that using uh, jump to the video using the column link present in the column b with that i have two tabs feature explainer and exercise that way you can go to the exercise tab and uh, and you know even attempt the exercises right okay with that information let me go to the power bi all right so here we have the power bi and let's say what i do is i create one quick table for this uh, sales data set which is you know uh, the products are getting sold and we have the product categories subcategories the product sales the product profit a very simple table right uh, it's a very common thing that there are products you want to sell and whole idea is that let's say one of the hypothetical requirement in this case i create is what is the sales of after subtracting the profit right so this is sort of a hypothetical scenario i'm showing you over here however you will be having more practical scenario so sales after profit or sales value after profit is something I'm creating the column name as a measure. And what I'll do is in this case is we have what do you call sum. So usually what we want to take is sum of uh, sorry sales minus uh, profit. But the profit is not coming right because it basically uh, doesn't allow you to do uh, specify any other thing like you can simply take the sum. So if you are looking for a situation like this where you need to subtract, multiply, divide, whatever expression you are writing, you want to take a sum of that. In that case, you will going to use the sum x function. In that you need to specify the table. So in this case is the table name is superstore and the expression is uh, sales minus profit now it allows you to basically take that up and you calculate this so this is sales after profit um, over here it is created and we take this over here and what do we get is basically a value 167,000 minus 43,000 and something you get 123,000 so that's something what I wanted to show you uh, how very quickly you can utilize the sumx function, perform any of the expression and take a sum of it. So make sure you remember the sumx function whenever you need to take a sum of an expression. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.